So, this guy here, he's trying to lure me for my party hat. Uh, he came to, I was at the GE and he had shown me some money and asked me to come to a giveaway. And he told me to note my party hat and come to Port Sarum. So, I'm assuming he wants me to do the Entrana lure with him. Now, I know how this works, so what I'm going to do is just anti-lure it and hopefully make a lot of money off of this guy. So, what's going to happen is he's going to take me to Entrana and he's going to have me drop my party hat and he's going to try to scam me. But what's going to happen is he's going to do a fake round out of however many rounds he says he's going to do and then he's going to scam me. He's going to actually give me some money so that way he... he gets my trust or whatever, and then he's going to try to scam me on the second round. So I'm just going to let it play through. I've uh, pre-recorded this so that way I didn't mess up during the actual process. I had to focus on what I was doing. So I'm just going to let it play through now. So right now he's just checking my inventory to make sure I didn't bank anything. I've made a lot, a lot, a lot of money from doing this. I, that's actually how I got that yellow party hat. I actually have about two bill in my bank, which I didn't bring. I always bank my, my money before I go anywhere. So yeah, he's taking me to the law altar right now. It's where uh, they do the scam. They do the body talisman switch. Well, they switch it with the body talisman. So that way you can't get back into the law altar. You'll see. So right now he's just making small talk with me. This guy must think I'm a retard. What I'm doing right now is just playing along with him to make him think that I'm like all for it and everything. That I have no idea what's going on. That, that's basically what you gotta do. The better you play along, you know, the more likely you are to actually anti-lure it. And usually the more money, the, the more your items are worth, and the more you drop, usually the more they'll give you. Because you're risking more. There's actually a few ways you can you can anti-lure this. You could bring a law tiara and hi do hide helm so they don't know you have it. Or you could actually just bring an extra law talisman and just drop it before every trade. Either way works. But I prefer to do the law tiara. And you'll see in a few seconds uh, I actually have one equipped and I have it hidden so he doesn't see it. And right now he's he's just gonna explain all the rules and stuff, all the all the bull crap. And then we're gonna actually do it.
after he explains the rules, he's going to do uh, one real round where he actually pays me. And then he's going to do... Then he's going to try and scam me for my party hat. He's going to offer some <clears throat> some junk so I don't notice the talisman swap, so I pay attention to the junk instead of the actual talisman. But I'm not stupid, and I know how this works. So now you can see that we have a Law Talisman on there that I shouldn't have offered. I almost scammed myself there. Three hundred mil in the bank. Now right here I'd usually just leave, but for the sake of the video I decided to stay so I could show you how the, the actual scam process works. And you'll see what he does. So now I'm just going to play along for round two. Sometimes they actually don't scam on the second round, and, they, and they'll actually give you some more money. But nine times out of ten, second round is the scam. So I just do the same thing as the last round, but this time, see, he offers a body talisman. Now, if I were to take that body talisman and leave, I would not be able to get back in. Well, I have my law tiara, so I, I would be able to, but if you don't bring that or another talisman, you're, you're pretty much screwed if you take that body talisman. So I just decline, and I start talking mad crap to him. Make sure to tell him thank you for the money, and bada bing bada boom, 300 mil in the bank. I swear, lures are just the dumbest people I've ever seen before. They expect you to believe their story, and then want you to drop your shit, and then they actually pay you to gain your trust, and then they try to scam you. They're idiots. And then he wants me to, he wants to me to redo it. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.